Yeah, I think it's about time we fix this. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to fix something else that has been going. Now if you remember about, I think it was two weeks ago, Renee was talking about uh, something that was going in our RV. And it is our shade. So as you can see, we only have one string here. It's ripped through there. The coating is coming off. And this one just finally broke. Actually, this is like the elastic sleeve part of the cord. As wonderful as Grand Design is, we got a new one and we are going to install it. So just in case, like you saw in the beginning, how we uh, hold this up, and basically get a clamp and we clamp it up to, to the valance. Let's get to fixing. So the screws that are in there are very small Phillips head. They're not the square bit that come with every other, that are like every other screw here in the RV. So I just got me a uh, small Phillips head and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull them out. Very tiny screws. So as you can see, just the L bracket. Now we gotta remove these uh, Phillips heads here. And for this one, I am going to use the power drill just to get them out there a little faster. And that's how you remove it. So ultimately, you want to undo these or remove the string first. This one was broken, and I forgot to do this, as you can see, but that's how we're going to do that one. So two things that make this a real easy install. One, it already comes pre-threaded in these little thimble things that keep the tension. So that's really nice. I thought I would have to re-thread them and tie another little knot. But since it's already there, that's really nice. And the size is 26 by 31. So just to let you know, these side windows on a 315 RLTS are... 26 by 31. So what we're gonna do now, so this is the bottom, and it's just gonna go up like that. Got a couple screw holes here that I'm gonna match up and screw right back in. All right, so I got one through the hole here, started up a couple threads, taking the other screw, putting it through. Ah, oh, that doesn't line up, but it goes in. tight and you notice when I put these back in I did not use the drill I just didn't want to over tighten it strip it or to go all the way through the blind So that's how easy it is to replace your blinds. Well, at least the accordion blinds. Again, we have a 2019 RLTS reflection. And I think in the 2020s or newer, they have the pull down blackout shades. So if they ever break or do anything like that, make sure as always call Grand Design customer service. Let them know your VIN number, your model number, and what window it is that's broken. And they're gonna do their best to help fix and relieve the problem. So, or resolve the problem. That's it. Another thing that is, I mean, 2019 to 2022, and it was just worn out. I mean, this isn't where Renee's office is, and this thing gets open all the time, so it's not too surprising. It's the only one that is broken in here. So, but this one gets open and closed more often. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're still working on a few things to make our big announcement. 
so you guys want to stay tuned hopefully next week we'll be having a pretty good announcement here um, I can't turn the camera around and show you what's going on here that's why I'm kind of facing this way other than Renee sitting over there and let's just say my office thanks again for watching guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the road